Good morning, Martians. Well, I want to uh, do an update real quick, um, talking about some of the changes that they've uh, talked about. Um, it's been a little while, so I've missed out on a couple things, and there's a couple things not even mentioned. But right off the bat, they're using the, what is it, Trello page again. Um, I was unable to uh, load the change log, but it seems like it's back up now. I thought they had, like, got rid of it or something. It was a dead page for a while. Well, anyway, I'll put a... Uh, show the list real quick and it looks like okay on March 21st they fixed character in ready room going into ragdoll fixed character in ready room running out of air on the 24th we got fixed issue where mods in multiplayer were checked in random order creating CRC mismatch error Fixed issue where connecting to a LAN server where it said there was a CRC mismatch. Fixed broken achievements. Added a uh, rangefinder tool with zoom and distance display. Um, let's see. Updated vehicle GUI. Graphical user interface. Added fuel use for truck and the mobile lab. Added rangefinder tool to the tool rack in the manned descent vehicle. On the 29th, added human spacecraft controls for the manned ascent vehicle. 30th, added launch construction to the manned descent vehicle to hold the ascent stage. Upright, I imagine. 31st, all five training missions are now available. Implemented seat exits in the manned ascent vehicle based on whether launched or not. That makes sense. Because probably when you launch, you, can, you don't want to get out of your chair. That might be a problem. Um, so first, let's take a look at just that. Let's see if I can uh, tab over there to that guy. Oh, we'll start here then in the, in the mobile lab. So I'm in uh, developer mode right now because a couple things I want to show I can only do it so you can see this debug uh, debug menu came up because I'm in developer mode. Um, it doesn't say that on the screen, but you get this kind of more information. So on the driver's seat, you can actually close the airlocks now from here. So that's kind of nice. Um, if I change my sound options, let me get back over here. There we go. If I change the sound options, you can hear I got uh, realistic on. So now, if you hit these, you can hear that you are closing the um, airlocks. And I'm not sure, but I are these the same camera views? I'm not sure, but this one might be new. Live. I don't know where that's at, but anyway. And you got your standard map, and you got fuel and methane showing here now. Lights on and off, but for some reason, you got to hold the button. But anyway, there's uh, this interface. Let's jump out of this chair real quick. And I wish um, Escape got you out of a menu. That would be sweet. I keep hitting Escape just because every other game in the whole world uses Escape to get out of menus. And look, they've uh, you got a field of view here now because they put a new interface here to control... The crane, that's the word I was looking for. I like this. Oh wow, look at that. Oh okay, that's that's pretty cool. I kinda like this a lot better, actually. I don't have anything to pick up, but whatever. See how far it extends. And you got different views. You just click here. So let's see. Can I swing it to the left? Oh, I see. You can see it out there now.
So yeah, that's pretty cool. I like it. Activate, nothing to grab. So yeah. So I wanted to show that interface. I really like that. Um, I don't think anything else in here changed that I could tell. I mean, you have the emergency exits here. Um, these still do not display anything for the lab table or the medical beds or the beds. Let's see. Anything in here? Um, no, and I think that's it for in here. You still can put oxygen and stuff back in there. Let me close that. Let's switch to another guy and see what's going on. Oh, this inside guy. Okay, let's, let's check out the rangefinder. Escape button again. Here we go. Scroll wheel zooms you. So you can get a pretty good view out there, man. Look at that. I'm liking this. Let's see. Where's that guy in the window? I can't see. I lost him. There he is. Um, oh, no, he's in the back. See any, anybody else to look at? This guy over by the truck? Where's that guy at? There he is. So, yeah, you can watch and see who's up to what. So, that's kind of nice. I like it. And let's see, what else did I notice? Um, well, that's all they had listed on that page, but on the Trillo page, they have other things mentioned. Let's jump up to, let's see here, that guy over there, this guy in here. Yeah, this guy. And I noticed they added sounds for the ladders now, so I don't have to put those in anymore. I was always adding the sounds everywhere, and I'm glad they added something. So that's kind of nice. They have it on the back also. But I noticed um, also the other day that they added the fuel for this guy right here. So you have some space right there for the fuel on both sides. Oxygen. It will not charge your suits without you putting oxygen here now. I think you have one emergency oxygen use. So the cab will have a, um, oxygen. As soon as you open this door, you lose whatever was in here. You shut the outside door, go in, open this door. Now you have air to take your suit off. If you have another emergency suit or oxygen on you, that would be probably awesome. But um, it will not charge <coughs> your suit. Um, it may charge your headlamp, but not the oxygen. So that's what I noticed about this guy. Let's see. Did they change the... can't remember if the controls here... Changed at all. See, watch. If I shut this... And see, it's not automatically have oxygen in here. But now you have whatever was in here. But now you lose it, though. I, from what I, what I noticed was once I go back out and shut the store, there's no more air in here. So, um, again, I'm in developer mode, so that's why you see this little debug information. Um, but also, you have controls here. your ramp um, your blocks so you could do a lot of these things we weren't doing before okay now I just hit the F key <laughs> on accident so I think I changed something here oh whoa 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 I know what I did I never mind I forgot Okay, you can see that you got some of that stuff going on. So that's kind of nice having that control from the inside on both these vehicles. And let's see, let's jump out of here. And now I'm in the ascent vehicle above the descent vehicle. So I'll put another snapshot up here um, showing what they're doing with this control panel here. Um, you see it has the camera, and that's it for right now. But uh, you see in the picture, there's a little aiming, uh, um, I don't even know what you'd call that. The bottom screen, it looks like you, alignment, where you can align it if you're going to dock to... It looks like you can dock to another one of these ascent vehicles. We don't, I haven't noticed a part that you can put on a, a station that you can dock to at this point, but you can. It'll, it says you can dock to another one. I, I should probably try that. So here in a little bit, I might jump up into space with a couple of these and see if I can't maneuver and dock, um, if it's even imp implemented yet. I mean, it doesn't have the, um, the aiming 
but whatever. Oh, well, maybe I'll wait until I get to aiming before I do that. But if uh, I'm in developing mode, so if I hold the V key... Now, yeah, um, something's up with that. Let me get a different perspective on this real quick because I don't think that piece should be jetting through the ship like it was. Yeah, what the hell? Uh, yeah, it looks like it's... What? The absolute... <laughs> okay, the ship is not supposed to lean. I think that part is supposed to lean. Yeah, so, okay, so obviously, yeah, the ship's not supposed to lean, that piece is, I don't know what that, why the ship is leaning, actually. Um, it worked uh, earlier, but obviously they're still working on it, and I just, oh my god. Um, yeah, is there a way to, no, there's, uh, there's no closing it, <laughs> let's just keep going. So as you can see, something is amiss, right? Okay, let's jump to a different... Oh my god, something just broke. <laughs> uh, I, I was expecting a giant explosion, actually. So let's jump out of here. And let's see if hitting the U turns the lights on. Now, evidently, that only works in developer mode. So you get a little bit of light in here. Not all of them, just a few. By holding the U key. Can I turn that off now? Yeah. So you can turn it on and off. Um, jet outside real quick. Yeah. So obviously something went amiss here. I may have to use the crane to save this guy. But yeah. Anyway, those are some of the updates. <laughs> that I freaking... Yeah, we got to get this thing over here. And try to rescue a homie in there. But yeah, I just wanted to kind of show you some of those things I was noticing and some of the things they were saying. And I think I put up the picture. Yeah, that just does not look safe, does it? Yeah. So, yeah, I'll put up, a, let's see, I got a snapshot of the, the docking unit on the ascent vehicle. Uh, the, oh, they even show the launch of the ascent vehicle. Uh, yeah. I'm not holding my breath on that one just because of the whole way the ship just freaking fell over. Or was maneuvered over. So yeah, I'm going to keep an eye on the Trillo page now and see what's going on. But not everything is, you know, implemented totally. Like, I can, if you're in regular mode, you can't open this guy or turn the lights on. So, yeah. That's kind of some stuff I wanted to cover. If you guys know of anything else I might have missed, let me know. What a shame, what a shame. So these guys should be solar array. Don't you think? I mean, I'm not sure. If these had solar panels on them, once it's open, that would power this whole... Uh, yeah, see, both of these guys were supposed to lean down. And maybe seeing this video might uh, help somebody understand what's going on here. So, not exactly sure what happened. It didn't explode yet, so that's always good. So I'll just get back here just in case. I do hear a hissing sound. And then, uh, yeah, so I'll catch you guys next time, and uh, you guys have a good one.